Hey guys, hope all is well. This is the original Princess Bronze coming at you on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday, right? <laughs> but anyway, guys, I had to come and uh, go by the water. I haven't been by the water in a long time. Um, I'm just home right now. Um, yeah, God has been good, guys. I know you guys probably watch my day ones who bought, who watch my videos probably think she's so sad and so, what's going on? Oh my God. No guys, like for real, I am very happy. I am very blessed. I am very, very thankful. I'm grateful to the most high God because he has been showing me beautiful things. He has been allowing me to be, you know, do the things that I wanted to do. He has been allowing me to, to see the bad, the good the negative the positive and you know it's it's it helps you it really does it helps you i don't want to have i don't want to be seeing the positive all the time because when you start seeing the positive in life all the time like you get comfortable right you get real comfortable you get lazy and you don't want to move you don't want to propel and i learned this um little little tip from reading that book success principles with you guys during the summer and it and napoleon hill said that um there is a habit force out there right which is a positive energy and a negative energy we already know that it's just like yin and yang it's just like good days bad days right you need it for balance right and i always talk about balance i always talk about the good and the bad that's why i show you the good i show you the bad and i show you balance i show you in between right but this is a journey i don't know where it will stop when it will stop when if my channel get taken if I just decide I don't want to do any more videos anymore, but that will be my choice. But what I'm trying to say, I hope you guys are enjoying this journey with me because you can go back from 2015 all the way to now, just listening to my videos, just watching it on a bore, boring day. Like if you're having a bad day, turn on my videos and just watch them. Okay. As long as they're up, it's people trying to take them down. They try to flag your videos or try to say it's misinformation, but I always put in disclaimers and say, I am not a doctor, nor do I claim to be one. This is my opinion and we all have one, okay? Um, and I believe in freedom of speech, whether it is, you know, whether it is a real thing or if it's a fictional thing, right? So the only thing is, guys, like do what you love and love what you do. You're going to hear me say this all the time in my videos. Do what you love and love what you do, because there's always some entity in the background that is always going to try to give you chaos and conflict and negativity. And it's fake and it's not real. And it's trying to stop you before you get started. It's just trying to irritate you and all that stuff. Continue to do what you want to do as long as it's legal, as long as it's not hurting anyone long as it's fulfilling what your purpose in life is no one has your purpose you don't have nobody else's purpose you only have your purpose nobody can tell you what your purpose is no one can tell you what you are supposed to be doing okay only god propels us in the way that he wants us to go whether it's negative or positive at the moment but it all works out for his good okay so I don't listen to people try to tell me whether however they bring it to me either they're bringing it to me in a way that it seems positive but it has a little facetiousness in it i catch those t's okay but the thing is i do what god wants me to do i do what god fulfills in my life to do you know what i'm saying if he's pushing me in the direction of where i need to go that's where i'm going and some people may not get that. Some people don't understand me. Some people don't like that I'm a truther. Some people don't like the fact that I may be speaking to my future self. And I'm speaking on my YouTube videos. And I'm speaking on my social media platforms to my audience. But I'm really speaking to my future self. I'm really speaking to my family. I'm really speaking to my family like the one who i gave birth to <laughs> okay so on her bad days or whatever she turned it on she look at it and she understands what her mama was going through okay or my mother sees my videos or my cousins or my family members or whoever listen or my brother or whoever listens to my videos it's to uplift them 
when they get down if it's up it's it's up to them to do whatever they want to do anyway but i'm gonna always speak what i need to to myself first and that's why i think everyone should be doing what makes them happy it's an alligator out here i just seen it he's looking and i'm not gonna be his target okay <laughs> i hey listen i have no fear god say fear not okay but he doesn't want us to be stupid all right so yeah i'm gonna move back over here like i am like i know how to i know how to run and i have, i know how to flee <laughs> it's either fight or flight okay and your girl is getting out of the way all right i'm not nobody's meal ticket okay and um so anyway yeah so i just wanted to say that guys always do what you love love what you do hold on one second you all right do what you love love what you do guys and don't let nothing stop you don't let nothing get in your way and don't be afraid to speak the truth like at some point there's a time to speak the truth and there's not a time to speak the truth but when it's something in you that won't um it allows you to speak the truth speak the truth because sometimes it could be helping somebody else and when it's helping somebody else, that means it's helping you at the same time. Because one thing I know about law of compensation is if you give, you will receive. If you put out something positive, you will receive positive. If you put out something negative, you will receive negative. Listen, I'm not perfect. And I know if I put out something that seems to be negative, negativity comes my way. It ain't, no, it ain't science. It's, I mean, well... It ain't no rocket science to figure that out. <laughs> so the thing is, guys, always strive to do positive. Life is always going to bring you positive and negative because it's going to balance itself out. Just try your best to do your best. Love what you do. Do what you want to do. Don't listen to all that chatter and constant chatter of somebody else's opinions and what they think you should be doing and why you don't have this and why you don't have that or what you supposed to have in life compared to somebody else if you start comparing yourself to somebody else you have already lost the race okay you have already lost the race if you're starting to compare yourself to somebody else i don't do that one thing i'll never do i'd rather not fit in than to try to fit in because you should never try to fit in anywhere, right? I'd rather fit out than fit in. And the only reason why I'm saying this is because too many people, they try to discourage you from doing what you love. You can be the most, like I've come on here being the most positive person, but it's always gonna be that one person that because they're just that, they have that negative energy in them that is superseding their positive energy, they're gonna come your way and start gaslighting you and start pulling you into their negative energy. And that's when you have to pull away. You have to say, uh-uh, no, I'm not. I'm not listening to that. And it doesn't mean that person is a bad person unless you start seeing that this person is targeting you. That's a difference, right? So, Stay focused on your focus, guys. Don't let anyone get in your way. Don't let negative thoughts get in your way. Don't let negative people get in your way. Negative situations get in your way. Because always, always, always stay positive. But just know that you need negativity to propel you to your next level. You need negativity to keep you in focus, keep you in check. To say, hey, listen, I better wake up because this is not the way it's supposed to be going. I'm, I'm not supposed to be this person. I'm not supposed to be coming across as this person, right? But that's the point. People will watch one video and think that I'm negative without understanding the, what I am trying to, to portray to them over my conversations with myself. I'm having conversations with myself to inspire somebody else. That's why people watching my videos. They may not like the video. You may not see them liking my videos. It doesn't mean they're not watching my videos and even if i get little likes it could be it could be 10 people watching it 
but it could be a thousand people watching it. Okay? Because you never know when the analytics is not anal analyzing the content. Okay? Because <laughs> sometimes it may take days before the, the, the analytics even shift to the updated numbers. Some days it will never shift because you're shadow banned and it ain't no, no matter how long that video been going, it ain't going nowhere because YouTube said, nope, this doesn't follow the community guidelines. Okay, so people look at videos and think, oh, she's being negative. No, she's trying to get her message across and you are, you're perceiving it in a different way than it is intended to be perceived. So sometimes you have to step away from situations like that and say, hey, I'm, maybe I wasn't supposed to see this video. It's not meant for me. Um, I'm going to move on to something else because it wasn't pertaining to me. People always try to make it seem like what I'm saying as a public speaker, as a manifester, as a motivator, as an inspirational person, as a spiritual person, first and foremost, okay, God is first in all that I do. God is first in my life, in my family life, and I'm going to keep it that way. All right? Right? But see, they don't understand that when they see these videos. <laughs> All they see is a person just rambling. No, I'm not rambling. And no, I ain't just talking about this situation. It's always a reason for things. So when you start looking at my videos like that, then you'll understand. And you might can figure out the puzzle that I am placing together, okay, in my journey. You might be trying to figure out what I'm trying to figure out, okay? And some of you may already know what I'm talking about and haven't said anything yet or are sending me uh, little messages and hints to let me know you get what I'm trying to say, right? So when you're a spiritual warrior, you're a spiritual investigator, this is how it happens. It happens this way. And you have to stay in tune with your own spirit because if you don't, that negative energy is going to come and distract you. And you have to stay positive, man. I'm telling you, stay positive no matter what the situation is. Stay alert. Be, be strong because Satan and his enemies. Satan and God's enemy Satan is God's enemy but Satan and his imps and his negative energy don't like your positivity don't like your creativity don't like your enthusiasm don't like your uh, intuitiveness it doesn't like your ability to see things that others don't see right away so, um, yeah, so that's a little, I don't know what that is. That's like an old screw, okay? But yeah, guys, so you got to you gotta um, pay attention to your own intuition. You got to pay attention to your own, you know, spirit, man. God put us on this earth to do good, to treat people right, to be empathetic of others, be empathetic of ourselves. Don't be so hard on ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And try to do better. That's it. That's it. You know? And if it's not working out over there, make it work over here. Like, for real. Like, that's why I don't even stress anymore. Like, I, I don't really stress it and care about what people think. Because I know I have a mouth. I have a mind. I know how to repel negativity off me. And when you see me in that state on my social media, guys, I'm repelling the negativity that's coming my way. And it may not seem that way. It may not seem like I'm the one being positive, but really sometimes you have to be a spiritual warrior at times. That's it. Not to, you're not trying to hurt anyone. You're trying to let people know, hey, I have boundaries and you're not gonna cross them, period. I have boundaries and you're not gonna cross them. I have boundaries enough to know when you're trying to manipulate me. I have boundaries enough to know that you are not going to treat me unfairly. Okay? I have a, a right to speak my mind. I have the right to say yes or no. I have the right to move on. I have the right to go left to right. I have the right to exist. I have a right to exist. 
you have a right to exist. It's already bad that I, being as a black woman that we have to go through certain things in our lives that some people are not empathetic of. And the first thing they will let you know when you're hurting, they are they want to judge you. They want to laugh at you. They want to make pick fun at you. They want to do this. They want to do that. But no, what they're doing is they're doing it to themselves. They're not doing it to you. It may seem that they're doing it to you, but your your perception is everything. But when you're an intuitive, empathetic, you know what I'm saying, person who has discernment, that's why you know no weapon formed against you shall prosper. That's why you know that whatever is in you is for you and it's God has put it in you to bring it out of you but you have to be in tune with that. That's why you shouldn't even care what people think about you. You shouldn't care about nothing that they're saying. All your job is to do is do the right thing, treat people the way they want to be treated, speak your truth if someone hurts or offend you or your family, and you keep moving on. That's it. You keep moving forward. You do not get distracted. You stay out of people way. You stay in your lane. And you can have more than one lane. Because this world is big enough for all of us to coexist and have more than one lane. Okay? So on that note, guys, I just wanted to come out. This was just on my spirit to say. It ain't it ain't nothing for me to just turn on this thing and just start blabbing out the mouth something that can help someone else as well as helping myself so you know sometimes it, it is what it is you have to let your thoughts out because some people are sitting out here in this world going through something and won't let someone help them some people are out here going through things alone and want people to help them but nobody will help them. Some people are in this world alone, going through things with people helping them and they're really hurting them. So you get, you get what I'm saying? So always go with your, in, go to God first, ask him for what you want, believe it, see it happening and keep doing your work that you need to do. Taking action, getting up, taking, going wherever you don't even know where you are and starting over or doing something new or doing something great or doing nothing at all, but at least you got up and did something. <laughs> you're breathing, you're still taking action. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to come out here. You know, guys, I'll be speaking however I wanna speak because my mind is free. I am. I am, I don't have any holes on my mind, okay? The only thing I want is justice. I'm gonna always seek justice. I'm gonna never give up on fighting for justice. And whatever justice is in my life is what it is. Your justice could be something else. Your freedom could be something totally different from mine. But does, it, does that mean I gotta stop speaking up about my justice? Does that mean I gotta stop looking for my justice? Does that, stop, does, does that mean I have to stop looking for my peace? Does that mean I have to stop looking for my serenity? No. You know why? God already put those things in me. It's up to me to bring it out. And I'm bringing it out. And I don't care what nobody say. So on that note, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Put God first in everything you do. No matter if you fall, get back up. If you make a mistake, brush it off. There's a way to correct it. If you can't correct it, handle it with style and grace and move on. Learn from it, move on. If it's something that was unjustly done, you have to find a way to get to your quiet, your peaceful place. You have to find a way to uh, move on from it doesn't mean you have to forget it because remember they say you can never forget about it but you can get over it you you can get over it but that don't mean you you're gonna forget about it 
You know what I'm saying? It's just like forgiving and forgetting. There is no forgetting. You can forgive someone because that's what God wants us to do. But you may not forget it. And you might have to keep continuing to deal with it. To deal with that hurt and deal with that pain. But when you come to a place where you can move on from it. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. That is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Right? Oh, God. It's some, it's some manatees in the water. I can tell that there's manatees in the water, guys. If you could see the indentation right here going from right to left. Then it's free. And then right to left. You see that? Right to left. Those are the manatees. They're moving real slow. Because this is a river. This is a waterway. And that's why they tell them to slow the speed. You can't speed uh, in certain areas. Now, there is another boat that's around here that has like a little a daily ride, boat ride, with like over 20 to 30 people on it. And it moves slow. It doesn't. It's not like a speed boat. But they have those two. But you can tell the manatees are in the water. And that was probably what that was, peeking out of the water, his little snout, um, a manatee. Yeah, he probably knew. God, see, I'm going to tell you about God. God, animals even know the people who they supposed to be around and the people they don't supposed to be around, right? <laughs> it's some little wild cats now. People feed them, right? And if they don't, they don't, um, if they don't want to eat from you, they're not going to eat from you. I don't care how much you feed them because they're so used to their other people bringing them food, right? But squirrels, let me tell you about squirrels. They don't care who you are. They are not particular animals, okay? Now, if they're not used to... Hold on. If they're not... Okay, if they're not used to... Um, if they're not used to... Being around, it's a little fish out there jumping too. If they're not used to being around humans, then yes, they're gonna be very standoffish. They're gonna wait. And then when they start seeing you crumble stuff up and stuff like that, dropping things, then they'll come maybe when, when you leave or something. But when, when squirrels are used to humans at the parks, they're gonna come to you when you're rattling your paper then and get all close to you and all that kind of stuff. They're gonna know, you know what I'm saying? That you're human and that you don't mean them any harm until something bad happens to them right if something hurts them they're not they're going to be very super standoffish so god has animals and even the animals have discernment they know when to stay away and when to come around okay just like i had i had crumbled up some crumbs that i had and i threw it out the window and the birds came a little squirrel came and then when he, when the birds heard my movement, the bird flew away and they flew back up in the tree and it was like a little crow bird, right? And it had a little crow baby bird, which is not black at all. It's like a grayish two-tone kind of color. The crow, grown-up crow is black, right? And so when the little bird came down with the mom bird and the mom, no, first the mom, when they flew back up in the um, tree, the mom came down and it was quiet. So I said, let me be still because I don't want to scare them off. So when she realized that I was not making any more noise, she did a whistle and the little bird flew down. And then they started eating the crumbs. So you see what I'm saying? She was checking it out first. And when she checked it out first, she gave her little baby a little whistle like, <laughs> and then it came and flew right back down where she was. So they have discernment they're smart they ain't stupid god has not made any any human or animal real real stupid there's some animals that just like you gotta it's gonna take a little while but you know what i'm saying they have discernment too they know when to stay away they they know they have the fight or flight in them okay i don't care if it's a fish they're gonna fight or flight okay <laughs> but anyway but anyway guys um, let me get off of here because I can talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, okay? But only it's for positive inspiration. That's it. It's people who love to hear me talk. And I'm not going to stop talking because it irritates someone else. It may irritate you guys. Y'all might click on this 
and y'all know me personally or you don't know me and you might get irritated because you're listening to what I'm trying to say. It may not resonate with you. Click off. Somebody else might enjoy it. It may be two people enjoying it. One person might enjoy it. You two may not even show it to about one person. But guess what? It's on here forever until it's taken down. All right. And it ain't nothing nobody can do about it. Peace and blessings.